For me, it's about the law and people. I just need facts, okay? Yeah, okay? Just facts. And how people can resolve their problems and just be better for it. Justice with passion. I always knew I was going to go into law because I tried to see everybody's point of view in an argument. And I encouraged people to talk to each other to try to resolve their problems. Justice with truth. Do not waste your time and do not waste mine. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Sheila and Anthony Jones are suing Rick and Susan Weinberg in the amount of $3,000. The co-plaintiffs claim the Weinbergs broke their lease and say the damage to the rental property exceeded the security deposit. The Weinbergs are countersuing for $4,100. Anthony and Sheila Jones? Correct. And Sheila, I understand that Susan is your sister? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Rick and Susan Weinberg? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. The Joneses are suing the Weinbergs for $3,000? Correct. And um, you guys are countersuing for $4,100. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. Why are you suing for $4,100? Why are you countersuing? We're countersuing because we were forced to move due to living conditions um, with them. So the cost of the movers, as well as um, at one point in time that we'll speak about later, our AC unit went out. Um, so we were forced to stay, it was in the middle of August. So we were forced to stay at a hotel. So we're charging them for reimbursement of that, as well as our security deposit. Okay, how much was the security deposit, just out of curiosity? Um, $1,000. Uh, how much was the um, AC, the, the AC. hotel? The hotel, and we have receipts here. It was 700 yes. 700 And the rest of it was for movers? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and how, well, how much were your movers? Uh, 2400 2400 And how long did you live, and I imagine you have receipts for all of this that you can give Cinder in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, how long did you live at their home? About seven years, Your Honor. Seven years. It's a long time. Okay, are you guys close, sisters? We were before all this, you know. How long have you guys been married? We've been married about 15 years. 15 years. And you guys, how long have you been married, Anthony? Uh, so we actually have been married for 20 years. 25 in August. It's crazy, right? Yeah. So time flies when you're having fun. So Anthony, explain to me, um, you, I understand you have different homes, different properties that, that you owned. You decided to lease one of your homes to your sister-in-law and your brother-in-law? Yeah, absolutely. So out of the kindness of our heart, we actually allowed them to enter into one of our vacant properties mm -hmm. for significantly less uh, money, cheap rent, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. so Why did you do that? Because out of the kindness of our heart, you know, he... It's still business. They're still paying you rent, though, so... They are. But unfortunately, he lost his job. And so we just decided to help them out. How much do they have to pay a month? Yeah, so at first they paid $1,200 a month. Pretty darn a, good. Yeah, in a really nice neighborhood. I mean, you can't even get an apartment today for $1,200, right? Absolutely not, exactly. So, and this was a home. How big was the home? Um, the home is a four-bedroom home. Okay, beautiful. Um, Chestnut Hills is a very, uh, it's a very affluent um, neighborhood. Yep. So we, we, we chose to move there for that reason. Good. No, that's wonderful. And I, it's in Pennsylvania, correct? Yes, ma'am. So beautiful, beautiful state. Uh, $1,200, that was a steal. Well, not so much. No, why not? Um, it came with a deal. It came with a deal? <laughs> it, it came with a deal, see, and, and he just started it right now. He, he's good at manipulating situations and making okay. it look so All right, wild. so then maybe I should okay. get the story from him first. Okay. All right, remember, after all, you guys are family. Okay, just yeah, want to say that this. now yeah. before we render like any okay. verdict. Okay. All right, yeah, so you, you leased the house Yes. For $1,200. Was there an actual written lease? Yeah, there was an actual written lease. Okay. And you a lease? Okay. Yes, I had the so, lease. So, Mr. Weinberg, I'm going to ask the Joneses a bunch of questions. I know you guys are heated. I'm sorry. It's always bad. That's fine. It's always bad with family. I get it. But let me get the facts out. Yes, and See if, you, if there's merit to the claim. So, there was a lease. Yes, absolutely. Tell me about the lease. So, the lease was uh, signed by both of us. Just the guys, not the girls? Not the girls, just the guys. We were both present at the same time. Mm -hmm. And he, after him telling me about his situation and his drinking problem, we'll get to that later. Uh, I decided to give him problem. twelve. I, I'm talking. I just decided to give twelve hundred dollars and with a security deposit of a thousand dollars, you know, for damages and things of that matter. And I said that he will actually be responsible for repairs to the property, both minor and reasonable. Okay. Key word being so can minor. I see this? Can I see this uh, lease that you had? Absolutely. the first evidence. Uh, Cinder will, will pick up. Uh, I have everything. Again, everything. any other everything evidence you that you may need. have? Anything you have. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. No problem. So this lease, this is the lease? 
That's the lease. Hey, Does that look like a normal lease to you, Your Honor? It's still Say a lease. Again? Does that look like a normal lease to law you, Law binding Honor? contract. It's still all right. a lease. I, I, I'm the expert on law binding contracts, all right? So exactly. let me look. Anthony Jones agrees to rent my Chestnut Hills property to my in to one, my brother-in-law, Rick and Susan, for the amount of $1,200 after secure deposit of, so initially it was $1,200. Yes. Uh, Mr. Weinberg will be responsible for minor reasonable repairs to the property. Coming up on Justice for All. Our deal doesn't say anything about the price increasing. Our deal doesn't say anything about major repairs. Our deal says at $1,200, I will do minor repairs. And later. I started to feel a lot of itching. My fiance convinced me to go to urgent care. The doctor diagnosed me with bed bug bites. Closed captioning provided by, if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Sheila and Anthony Jones, who are suing Rick and Susan Weinberg for $3,000. So how long was this contract for? This contract was for as long as they were actually occupying the, the property. So that's it, $1,200. Yes. Exactly. $1,000 secure deposit, and if anything happened to the house, they were responsible for they were So anything that they damaged? Anything that they damaged, they were, they were responsible for. So normal wear and tear? Normal wear and tear. What if the roof fell down in a, in a, in a snowstorm? Or then they would have to actually to communicate that with me. No, no, but I'm asking you. What yes. if? So there's reasonable normal like that, wear actually, and tear that a landlord's yes, responsible with. Exactly. But this is very vague. Mr. Weinberg will be responsible for minor and reasonable repairs. What do you mean by minor and what did you mean by reasonable back in 2015? Minor and reasonable would be anything that is, is anything uh, a major out-of-pocket expense like the roof falling down. Uh, I would actually come out there and actually fix okay. it. So minor, you're saying, oh my God, the door broke or the washing machine's not working. Is that minor? Yes, that would is be Is that minor. what you considered minor? That's f the furthest from what we consider minor. Minor and reasonable. So what did you consider minor? I considered minor, as you said, anything that we damage in the house, anything our children damage. We have three children in the house with us as well. Anything they damage in the house, if, uh, if a hole in the wall, sure. But we were dealing with things like septic tanks from our pump, plumbing. AC we're not, units. AC <laughs> units. Um, things that weren't considered minor. Uh, I think so I just heard major, them say that, the, So the AC unit broke? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. And the AC unit was out for two weeks. An AC unit is not minor. But that's perfectly fine. I told him in the it's text not. messages that I, I get right on it. But as soon as I actually call somebody out, it's one of the hottest days of the year. He's not at the property. Listen. Come to find out, they moved out. But you out. have a key. Two weeks later. And Your Honor, yeah. you and your honor that wasn't his first response. His first response wasn't, I'm going to call somebody. That's actually not what he said. We have our, our um, text messages here. His words was, you're supposed to fix things. That was the deal. Um, I told him, well, I'm not an electrician. I don't do things like this. He says, well, you have a wall unit. This is his sister-in-law. For her, you should feel some type of way. Your sister has to live here. Three kids. With, with um, your nephews. With those but bad like kids. I said, said, I'll get, get a right wall on unit. it. My, my and then he'll get on it. Here. Get a wall unit? Get a wall unit. And then he'll get on it. And by the way, and all that came, and he wasn't offering to reimburse that wall unit. That wall unit was coming out of our pocket yet again. Mm -hmm. More more repairs that we have to fix. But I guess it's with the deal of okay. the, of the well, as you pointed out in our lease, $1,200. But unfortunately, when the AC unit and things were going out, the rent wasn't $1,200 anymore, which is part of the reason why we're here. Okay. He's increased the rent multiple times since we've been there. It's the $1,200 still significantly that he keeps cheaper than everybody else around you. Okay. We're not everybody let, let, else. Let, we're family. All right, Mr. At the Weinberg, minute. continue. So you started at 1200 We started at 12 mm -hmm. He Since then, he's increased it at this point thir the third time. He When was the first one? Um, 2019? Was it 2019? 2019. Yeah. So, uh, around 2019, he first came to Four us. Four years with, later? That's okay. Um, That's he reasonable. He came to us um, with uh, the new rent was 1500 The pandemic hit. 2021, he came to us, and he um, went up to 1800 Now recently, in less than a year, we're now at 2000 In three years, we've gotten up $800. But he still wants to hold on to an agreement that we did of our deal. Our deal doesn't say anything about the price increasing. Our deal doesn't say anything about major repairs. Our deal says at twelve hundred dollars, I will do minor repairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's out of a not four thousand dollar average home rent in the area. Right, so I'm with it was from a my brother-in-law, nice my former best friend. Y'all, we're okay. not just family. We were best friends. 
then she's the reason that she he even got with that his That still wife. doesn't explain the property damages that you still owe me. I'm not, All right. I'm not so suing you for anything above that. For. All right, okay. So it was, it was let, beyond let's go. the security, security deposit. Gentlemen. It was gentlemen. beyond the security gentlemen. deposit. Please. Sorry, Your Honor. That's okay. It's okay. I knew this was going to be heated. It's fine. So just to understand your point of view, Mr. Weinberg, so it started at $1,200. Five years later, it was raised to $1,500? Yes, ma'am. Okay. During the pandemic, you raised it to $1,800? Absolutely. And then now it's $2,000. So yes, it has still gone up $800 less. since 2015. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Has he ever repaired anything since you moved in? No, Your Honor. Have you ever repaired anything from the day that they moved in in July of 2015? No, I have not. Not to my not, communication. So you never repaired for never repaired anything. So no. as a landlord, you didn't even go check up on the property. Absolutely, I did check up on the property. How many and that times is your was he on the property me. in the whatever seven eight years that? You guys lived there. Really, I wasn't keeping count. It wasn't often, and when he was, it wasn't there to, to fix anything. He was he was either there occasionally, especially in the beginning. He was either there as a a, a brother, a best friend. He came uh -huh. through to hang with An me, uncle. to drink with me, as he wants to put out alcohol problems. He came through to, to to hang out with us. The times after that, when the problem started, he was coming through not to fix anything, but to check on us. Okay. And I believe he was probably being sent by his wife. How will Judge Perez rule? Tune in tomorrow for the exciting conclusion. Sandra will stand Take away, right Judge. in between you two baby boys, just, and she what? will make sure you guys are both quiet so I can get through this case. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, Your Honor. What did I say at the beginning of this case? This is going to be heated. Why? It's always heated with family, especially when you two were best friends. Yes, ma'am. Coming up on Justice for All. And you're saying that's not true? No. It's true. There was just something that he's maybe leaving out that he did as well. What did he, he also do? got an exterminator. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Miles Shoemaker is suing John Pinford in the amount of $1,242. Mr. Shoemaker claims he was bitten by bed bugs while staying at the defendant's guest house and says he's owed for the cost of the rental and medical bills. Mr. Shoemaker, you are suing the defendant for $1,242 for medical bills for bed bugs. Is that correct? Bed bug bites mm -hmm. and um, my entire stay. At his at his okay. house. Explain. I recently uh, recently got engaged, and my fiance and I wanted to take a week and and celebrate. And so we took a trip to Los Angeles. Um, the first couple of days were fairly normal. Um, didn't really feel a whole lot. Then the third day, I started to feel a lot of itching um, on my um, my arms, but mainly really bad on my back and my uh, my thigh. Tried to fix it, um, it just kept getting worse. Mm -hmm. uh, I, put, I put cream on it, went to the pharmacy, tried a bunch of different things. Nothing ever really worked. Um, and it wasn't until I got back home, um, actually up in Northern California, and uh, my fiance um, convinced me to go to urgent care. And the, uh, the doctor diagnosed me with bed bug bites. I have an email okay. um, that he sent. Give me, give uh, Cinder all of your evidence. You decided to rent the defendant's, what, a house, an apartment? Uh, it, was a, it was a guest house. Okay. And where was the guest house? Where is your guest house? Los Angeles. In Los Santa Angeles. Monica. Okay. So uh, how much do you, do you do Airbnb or VRBO? How do you do this? Uh, it's a short-term rental uh, that I work with a hosting site that helps me to book uh, okay. clients and people to come over. So what's your normal procedure for cleaning before and after a guest comes? I have a regular uh, professional cleaning service that comes after uh, every guest that I have at any one of my, uh, okay. at my rental spots. And how long have you been renting the guest house? I've been in the business for about five years now. Okay. Coming up. Something that was really interesting during this whole thing is we made the initial complaint and then his posting disappeared. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Miles Shoemaker, who is suing John Pinford for $1,242. In my professional opinion, the bites appear to have incurred during his stay at this particular location as bed bug bites. Okay. So you can stand up, Mary. I understand you're. Mr. Shoemaker's girlfriend. Did you get any bed bug bites? 
No, I didn't have any that presented on me, but I spoke to the doctor about that. And they said that that's actually fairly normal, that people can have more of an allergic reaction to it, like a mosquito bite. Okay, yeah. all right, that is normal. All right, and then how did you react, Mr. Pinford, when you found this out? Well, I went on the advice of what the, uh, the rental agency that I go through, which is that they didn't have any pictures of bed bugs at my place or location. And, you didn't uh, speak directly to the rental site, we did. Okay, what did the rental site say? The rental site asked for um, photos mm -hmm. of the actual physical bed bugs. Yeah, but you were gone. I know. Did you explain that to them? So something that was really interesting during this whole thing is um, we made the initial complaint and then his posting disappeared. The plaintiff says you put your site down, uh, your rental down for for I had how some long? family that came uh, from out of town and I let them stay at my guest house for, uh, for about approximately about a month. It's also important in the short-term rental uh, business to periodically upgrade your decorations in order to stay competitive. I took advantage of that time when instead of having a guest there or having it being advertised that okay. had family, All I was right. staying and uh, And, and also you're saying that's cleaned. not true? No, it's true. There was just something that he's maybe leaving out that he did as well. What did he he did? also got an exterminator during that time. How do you know he got an exterminator? It was told to us through the rental site. So did you get an exterminator? Yes, ma'am. Why? Better safe than sorry. It's a, it's a business I take very, you know, very, <laughs> did they very find, serious. Did they find any bed bugs? Did they find anything? None that I know of. No, but an extermination, extermination might not be sufficient to get rid of bed bugs, right? You have to remove the, all the property. You've got to take the sheets off. You have to, you know, look at the mattress. You have to do a thousand things. So did you take out furniture, put new furniture in? That's why you redecorated? I did not completely redo the uh, place, but I did uh, replace some of the furniture and some oh, of the decor Oh, you did? That was in there, the bedrooms, yes. too? In the yes. bedroom where they spent the night? Yes. I replaced, uh, you know, the bed and uh, the couch. That's pretty serious, okay. Judge Perez's verdict when Justice for All returns. Promotional consideration provided by... Here's the thing, you know, it comes down to a matter of credibility, right? It's pretty clear that he got bed bugs. We, we looked at the timing. He went home straight to the urgent care, which is dated the next day after his stay on the 16th of February. He left your location on the 15th after Valentine's Day. He didn't go anywhere else, right? What was the total expense of the house? It was 992. Okay. Based on the evidence, um, Mr. Pinford, the kicker for me was you said you bought a new bed and a new couch. So that's pretty clear there's probably bed bugs on there, right? They probably found them somehow. I, I, I'm just being logical, you know, I'm using common sense, okay? So based on the evidence, I will rule in favor for, of the plaintiff uh, in the amount of $1,242, okay? Good luck. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $1,242. It's a relief that it's behind us now. Just to have it done with, um, have money, I can go, we can go celebrate some more. <laughs> uh, I believe it was a little bit of a harsh uh, judgment. Um, there really is no evidence that there were actually any bed bugs at my location. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.